Welcome to Herald of Glory Devotional. Today, Sunday, November 1st, 2020. Theme, No More Condemnation. Romans chapter 8 verse 1, King James Version. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. This is truly an amazing truth revealed by the Holy Spirit to the church. As a Christian, it is important to know that it is truth that puts your thoughts and perspectives into reality. You are no longer in condemnation. In Christ, you have been passed from sin's damnatory sentence into life everlasting. John chapter 3 verse 18 says, He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. It is like being prosecuted, charged with an offense, and arrayed before court only for the judge to pronounce that there is no fault with you and you cannot be condemned. It sounds too good to be true, but that is the reality you must walk in. To be in Christ means you believe that indeed Jesus, who is now your Lord, died for your sins and was raised for your justification. He took your place that you will receive eternal life. In your united death with him, you died to the nature of sin and were regenerated by the Holy Spirit with a newness of life, meaning you no longer have the nature of sin in you and every sinful act was totally remitted. Truly, there is no charge of sin against you. There is no condemnation that the devil or any man can bring to your charge. There are some Christians who remain remorseful and guilt-trapped for weeks because they committed an act of sin due to immaturity or ignorance. Some believe they ought to perform one spiritual exercise or the other to be cleansed of their sins. You need not to feel condemned. Move on to maturity, understanding the glory of your call in Christ. Do not give thoughts to the devil when he comes reminding you of your past mistakes. Just thank the Holy Spirit for bringing you into the reality of the work of Christ. Should you continue to sin because there is no more condemnation against you? Absolutely not. Walk in the newness of life and sin will never be mentioned in your domain. Confession. Please confess. I declare that by my faith in Christ, I am justified and acquitted. I am not under condemnation, but enjoying freely the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. I walk with boldness and confidence, knowing that I am the righteousness of God. I am glorified and continually walk in glory to the praise of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Further study, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 24. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. For he has made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. One year Bible reading. Luke chapter 19 to chapter 20. Pastor Julius Glowfield Christ Lord, heralding the glorious church, to receive free hard copy prints of the devotional or to be a partner. Kindly contact plus two three three five 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 zero zero one zero zero plus two three three five 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 zero zero one zero zero. Follow, like, and share Herald of Glory on Facebook and Instagram daily. Facebook Herald of Glory, Instagram Herald of Glory. Enjoy a perfect day. You are blessed.